Hi, in today's tutorial, we're going to see how we can render dynamic lists in Next.js. So we're going to be using data that we got from Cocktail API to render the drinks list on our bar page. Code with Sloba. Okay, before we start, I want to do some cleanup. I think that actually this component on top is taking too much of a space. So what we can do is we can go to the bar folder in the layouts. And what I can do is I can remove this class mean h dash screen. So mean height screen. So I can just remove this and if we refresh, we should get, yes, much better. Also, the second thing is that we still have this timeout. So if I go to the page here, let's go to the bar page and we can remove the timeout that we have here. So instead of having this await promise, we can just remove this promise. And now if you refresh, we should get straight away this bar without having this loader. What we need to do is to create our component. So let's head over to the components folder here and let's create a new file. Let's name this file as drinks dot drinks list dot JSX like this. And I'm going to be using obviously the shortcut that I've been using throughout the tutorial. So RAFCE to export the drinks list page and we're going to receive the drinks data here as a property. So drinks. And when we receive the drinks from our parent page, we want to loop through the array of the drinks and we want to create links so that we can use the IDs that we created in the previous tutorials. And then we can fetch the information for the individual drink. So now let's save this component and let's go into the page and let's, instead of this div, let's include our component. So name of the component is the drinks list and we want to pass in the data that we're getting here. So we want to use the drinks property here and let's pass in the data dot drinks i'd used this api already and i know that the property that we need to access the results of the drinks is named as drinks so just trust me on this one i'm gonna remove this console log and i will save this and now let's go and let's use this property to iterate over the array of drinks the first thing is let's remove this div and i want to create unordered list so let's create unordered list and inside of this unordered list we want to loop through the drinks so we're going to check first if drinks exist in the first place if they do we want to map through them and we have the access to items inside of the array and we want to call them as a drink like so and inside of this map we want to return the li elements and we want to use the key so this is the unique identifier of every single drink and we can use the id so the actual name of the property is id drink in camel case and inside of the li item we want to return back a link so let's import the link from next link make sure it's imported here on top and for the name of the drink we need to access the property from the drink so let's call drink dot str drink so this is the name of the property it's a little bit strange but this probably stands for string drink and now we want to create uh, href because every time that we click on this link we want to navigate to a new page and the url of this page is going to be as we created in the previous tutorial bar slash id and this id is dynamic so let's create bar slash and we're going to be using drink dot id drink the same id that we use for key here and now if we save this we actually see that the list of drinks is already being rendered and if we click on any of these uh, drinks let's say this one, we can see that we are getting redirected to the drink page and in the URL, we get this bar slash and the ID. If you return back to the bar and let's say we click on the Zorro, we get the dynamic ID and using this ID in the next tutorial, we're gonna fetch the information specific for a particular drink. Now let's add some styles for our drink list. So let's add some classes to the unordered list. Let's create a class name and let's add a menu, menu dash vertical like so and let's add some classes to the link itself so let's update the font itself let's add text excel so it's a little bit more larger and let's add font dash medium like this and now it looks how i want it uh, in the next couple of tutorials we're going to be adding images so this is going to be much much nicer but for this tutorial this will be wanted so this is how you can render dynamic uh, list in the next JS and as I said in the next tutorial we're gonna render this string page and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing 
feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.